Adam Kuhn, runner-up finish this year. First off, this year's better than last year. Yeah, I would say it's a little bit better than last year. Looking at that match with Wisdowski, he gets a couple takedowns there. Mm -hmm. First and second period. Going to the third period, you're still in the match, man. Yep. You get a takedown in the third period, and it is tied. You got to hold him down for 20 seconds. What's going through your mind? Going through my mind is just trying to fight, uh, fight down. You know, I'm tired. That whole thing, and I know he's tired, so I'm just trying to fight that down. And just trying to, you know, go back to what I was trained to do, and I was just uh, right out and um, didn't quite go in my favor. And he got a good hand control, got out, and then I was fighting to get what I could for a takedown. But at that point, there's not much time left, so no stalling call. So he can just kind of run for the rest of the match. And you know, congrats to him for. You know, wrestling a smart match and end up winning in the end. You know, looking at how he was isolating your right hand, mm -hmm. just nothing you could really do about it, man. Yeah, it was it was definitely tough. Um, definitely something I need to work on for next year for sure. Um, just trying to work on making sure that I'm digging on the inside position. He, he did a great job um, keeping me out. So that's something I got to work to keep building to get back in and dig in a different position. Has anyone ever taken your, you know, how he took your right hand on when you were on top, he was on bottom. Has anyone ever taken your hand and done that to you? He was crushing it pretty good. Um, I haven't had too many people be able to do that. I usually can get a grip somewhere, but he was, he was doing a really nice job isolating that. You know, looking at the, uh, the year and how much better this year ended compared to last year, how, you know, how do you feel at least inside? You know, you lose a tough match, he gets out, mm -hmm. but you, you're still on the podium. Yeah. Compared to last year, you're watching this. Yeah. What's yeah. that like? I know it, it was definitely a huge heartbreak, um, kind of losing this match and, you know, taking second, but not as bad as the heartbreak of sitting in the stands watching the match um, and then watching everybody stand on the podium from last year. So I'd say it's still, you know, heartbreaking and, you know, talk to me in a couple hours and maybe I'll have a different, you know, different response. Maybe I'll be more happy that I'm on the podium and stuff, but, you know, as all competitors are, we're hungry for more and there was more that I could take. Uh, McMullen in the semifinals? Mm -hmm. Finally knocked McMullen off yep. in the semis here at the yeah. NCAA tournament. Looking at that, how did that feel? It felt great. I mean, it felt great um, being able to uh, get in that scramble situation and end up coming out on top. Uh, first time wrestling him was a couple weeks ago at the Big Ten tournament. Just a uh, strong competitor and he beat me there. And then just being able to you know rise up and be able to beat him here was just a huge thing to put me in the finals. I um, mean, it was a great feeling. Um, he's a phenomenal wrestler and just happy to Happy to be there. You know, Michigan, everyone's talking Penn State next year, talking all these, all these other schools. But you look at what you guys got coming with Hall, with Little Massa, with, with older, you know, Massa, and, uh, you know, all five All-Americans, four all -Americans. coming back. People are sleeping on Michigan. What, what do you think you guys can do to make a run at a trophy lot next year? We're just going to continue to train and just work as hard as we possibly can. Because um, you can't really, you can work towards prizes and stuff, but that shouldn't be your end goal. Your end goal should be working to get as best, you know, get better and get the, be the best that you can. So that's all we're going to do. We're going to go back to the room, and if people overlook us, and they overlook us, and you know, we'll surprise some people. But we're just going to go back and ready to work. Quiz again next year in your way. Uh, I don't know how many of those heavyweights out of the, off the top of my head. The Krells is back. Mm -hmm. um, got a few returning. A few, yeah. few guys returning, man. But you know, McMullen's gone. Looking at the weight next year, man, it's going to be super competitive. Mm -hmm. What do you got to do to get back on that stage and win this time? You just got to keep keep getting better, and you got to train harder than everybody else that was on that podium, and everybody who was not on the podium, because you know everybody's going to be training hard because tomorrow, you know, this, you know, tomorrow technically starts a new year, so you just got to be able to. Train, you know, take the relaxation relaxation time that you need. Um, but then after that, you just got to train harder than everybody else. Freestyle. That's what it comes down to. Freestyle. Oh, freestyle for sure. Freestyle Greco for sure. I'll be training that. Um, probably gonna take you know, a week, maybe two weeks off, depending on how the body feels, and then go right back to having fun. Freestyle Greco. Well, hey man, thanks for the time. You got anything else for me, Adam? Go blue.